you know, here's what people have got to remember. You know, we we've all been raised to, you know, respect each other, and everyone has the right to, you know, be themselves, which is true. But I believe wholeheartedly, if you're going to believe in that concept of, you know, be yourself and don't let anybody get you down. If you're going to be a person who is adamantly uh, believing that, then you got to remember one thing. I'm doing a craft kit, so I'm not going to make eye contact. Um, does that even go with that? Anywho. And that is, if you're going to be that way, you got to remember this. Something, everything in life is going to make someone happy. Now, if I tell somebody, hey, be yourself, you know, be who you want to be, listen to the music you want to listen to, wear what you want to wear. You know, I've got to believe wholeheartedly in that. I can't turn around and say that and then the next minute go, Ew, you like Bieber. Bieber's music sucks. What's wrong with you for liking Bieber? You know, even if I don't like Justin Bieber's music, I don't say anything about, you know, the people who, who don't like his music. Because the truth is, what is it music to my ears is music to someone else's ears. You know, I'm 31 years old. I'm not going to listen to a teenager song and go, oh, I can relate. Nope. But, you know, and, but I don't sit there and, uh, not just for music, I don't sit there and critique people about how they dress. You know. If I see a man going into a store and he finds Spongebob boxers and he gets happy. But oh my god, I have my Spongebob boxers. It's the new Spongebob. I don't go, dude, what the hell. No, I don't laugh at him. I don't critique people about the clothes they wear or the music they listen to. Because I do believe that, you know, you should be who you want to be. Listen to the music you want to listen to. Uh, wear the sort of clothes that you want to wear and not be judged. And that's the problem with a lot of, um, you know, things... And that's the problem with a lot of uh, dilemmas these days. Is people, you know, they want to, they want things their way, but they want to be able at the same time to be a hypocrite about it. Now, so you know, if you're, if you're a guy that wants to, you know, have a Dolce and Gabbana purse, you know, props to you. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're, if you're a teenage girl that likes Sinatra and not Bieber, there's nothing wrong with that. If you're a teenage boy that likes Bieber, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, if you want to wear plaids with stripes, you know, nothing wrong with that. That's your right. I'm not going to sit there and degrade you and, and poke fun at you. Knowing that I won't want somebody, you know, poking fun at me because, you know, I like, uh, you know, that I like crafts or something like that. Or, uh, that I, you know, yeah, and, um, even something like living at home with your mom. You tell people you live at home with your mom and they laugh at you. Without even knowing, why do you do that? 
And these are the same people who will laugh about it, and these are the same people I've heard say, you know, be yourself. You need to not listen to what other people say. Don't let them get you down. Just be yourself. And then you say, hey, I live with my mom. <laughs> no, what's wrong with you? It don't work that way. You know, um... And let me tell you something. To the people out there who don't understand, not everybody can have the same things. Uh, somebody who lives maybe in a town where they're in between jobs or they're in a town where maybe the rent's too high, they can't afford to live on their own and they don't want necessarily to have roommates because all a roommate gotta do is go well I ain't got no job now up by so um so you know you, you don't know a person's you know you don't know a person's life to, to judge it so when somebody says, oh, I ain't got a job, or, you know, oh, I've, uh, I live with my mom, I don't laugh at them. Particularly, one thing, one thing you gotta realize, you teenagers, the ones who still live with your mom and think there's something wrong with grown people still living with their parents, you gotta realize this. You got an income right now, you got an income, no matter what. What it is, you got some sort of income coming in. Well, you don't have to pay rent and lights and food. But when you get older, at some point in your life, when you get older, you're going to be the one that has to figure out, you know, where you're going to live. Because your job got cut off or. You, know, you gotta figure out where you gonna live because um, you know, because your roommate who split the bills in half decided to jump bail and leave you. You gotta kind of look at it this way. It happens. You know, people who. People will laugh at people because they don't have their own computer or their own internet at their house. You know, they gotta realize some people, you know, some places, internet is like $40 a month. Mine is $49 a month. You know, so if I ended up in a situation where, you know, if I ended up in a situation where I had to save my money, there's no way on earth I'm going to say, well, I'll keep the internet and just go a week or two without food. No. That comes cable and the internet is going to be the first thing to go. So you got to kind of realize that. You know, don't, don't be judgmental. We don't know the whole story. You don't know, you know, what's going on with a person. What their personal life is. You know, like the old good book says, judge not unless you be judged. Anyway, that's pretty much the video for today.